My values and beliefs were shaped at a young age as I was raised in a Christian home with parents who emphasized the importance of faith and discipline. We had a perfect attendance track record for Sunday worship, had weekly devotions, and prayed on good and bad days. My parents taught us to never turn down any opportunity to serve the Lord as we are rewarded with crowns in heaven. Like any other kid, I wanted to please my parents and also expected Jesus to compensate me whenever I serve him through singing. I was convinced that Jesus existed as I witnessed God's provision in my family when we moved to the U.S. in 2005. We instantly had a home, a car, jobs for my parents, and even a church that my family could continue serving in. But simply believing in God's existence did not impact my own life. I was often disrespectful to my older siblings, I never admitted mistakes, I engaged in cheating and profanity at school, I was addicted to computer games, and I harbored bitterness, especially to my dad when I learned he committed adultery. At nine years old, I fully understood what Jesus did for me on the cross, surrendered my life to him, and made him my Lord and Savior. After that, a desire to cultivate a relationship began. I started reading the Bible and praying on my own time. Still, I felt my relationship with God was shallow, constantly asking myself how close I can walk towards the line without falling into sin. In 2020, at the peak of COVID, God impressed in my heart that life is short and gave me a good evaluation of my life. I realized that I am unsure if I live the life that God wants for me, making it a wasted life if God was to take me then. So for a person trained to serve in ministry, I responded with what I know God wants for me. I dedicated my talent and gift of singing to Him by posting worship song covers on YouTube, in which God blessed miraculously within the same year. As the number of followers grew, and having been featured in one of the largest TV programs in the Philippines, I thought that I finally found my purpose in life, which was to sing for Jesus. However, everything about me was still the same. I still had an unforgiving spirit towards my dad, I committed sins that I labeled as subtle, and my home was still damaged, patched up by ministry work. In 2021, my family and I joined CCF where we understood that God's desire is for us to not just be saved, but to become more and more like Jesus. As my older sister and parents consistently met with their discipleship groups, I saw their transforming attitudes and behaviors. Everyone was less irritable, less demanding, less entitled, and misunderstandings were settled immediately. My dad, whom I have never heard admit to his mistakes, gathered all of us one day and humbly asked for forgiveness. All of these changes in them made me realize the value of discipleship. I was initially hesitant to make disciples because I had a busy schedule during my Doctorate of Physical Therapy, or DPT program. However, after attending an intentional discipleship training for singles in 2021, I was encouraged by those who have the same level of busyness and even more than what's in my schedule, yet still manage to take time to disciple others. I realized that I was making excuses to delay my obedience. After that event, I asked the Lord to help me obey Him to disciple anyone He will lead me to, holding on to His promise that He will be with me always. In no time, God led me to disciple young ladies in New Jersey. I realized that discipling others provided me opportunities of becoming more like Jesus as I got convicted to model selflessness, humility, and obedience in public and in private. By God's grace, I'm becoming more respectful, gentle, and loving in my tone when speaking my opinions to my family members. I learned to say sorry for my mistakes and humbly accept feedback on how I can improve. I no longer kept records of wrongs from anyone, including my dad, whom I have forgiven and now have a better relationship with. And finally, I worked diligently through my studies to honor God, and with His grace, I was able to finish my DPT degree. From walking on eggshells, I now walk on solid ground of God's mercy, knowing that all things work together to build the best version of me. Before, serving Jesus felt like an obligation with my own selfish reward system. 
but now I simply enjoy and value investing in young ladies to help them experience the same transformation in me and my family. As I am in the season of maximizing my singleness, I could see how God continues to work in my life. He allowed me to use social media, not just to share my gift of music, but God has expanded my platform in YouTube, allowing me to reshare my family's life's transformation on the same TV program I was featured in, and giving me the opportunity to share what God's power can do to save people and transform lives. And I praise God for bringing souls to Jesus on that same day our story was featured. God has also given me the opportunity to serve alongside other Elevate leaders throughout East and Midwest regions with the purpose of equipping the next generation. And finally, He brings peace as I wait on God's best for my career, relationship, and my future. As we young people say, you only live once. But for me, I strive to live my life to the one who gave me life, and that's Jesus. I'm Hannah Abogado. To God be the glory.